It's the court in Romania has agreed to allow the controversial the social media influencer Andrew Tate. Months, Andrew Tate, his brother I've been Tristan. in one room since last year. My unmatched perspicacity, coupled with sheer indefatigability, makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. To chop my head off and try and delete me is asinine in and of itself. When you have the when youth, have the, the youth. masculine youth of the world, thinking for themselves, that's pretty scary to a foreign a professional fighter. It's the weapon that always works. They fired the bullet that never fails. It bounced off of my skin, and here I am. I still emerge more powerful than ever before. That's the biggest bullet they had. Imagine shooting a man with your last bullet, and he stands there, unfazed. The world up until this point was based on freedom. How they advertised you to be a good slave was they would give you some freedom. And what happened when they did this, something changed. The internet came. People started to talk, people started to think, people started to realize how money's made. People started to realize it's all a scam. People started to realize that countries are in massive debt because people are in massive debt and there's no way to escape. It's all a scam. The only hope you have is to cure your brain, see the attacks which are coming from the matrix, Get a strong network of individuals and then learn how to escape. They best get this guy because if he comes out and he's free, oh my gosh. Can you imagine if he comes out and he's free, what his first life is going to be like? It could break the record. It'll be the talk of the world. It'll be banned in countries. It'll be feared because if you go after a person like this, you better have proof to arrest him or get him. You don't go through somebody like this because they become a big figure and their message becomes bigger, specifically to the people that didn't listen to it before or hated it. They're going to say, why are you trying to silence this guy? And you don't think Andrew's going to come out telling the story? I do want to say one thing, though. For everyone I thought shit about Andrew and Tristan, right? That were hating, <laughs> talking smack. Don't switch sides now, bro. <laughs> Keep that same energy <laughs> and still over there, bro. I'm telling y'all, man, right here, right now, Andrew's out. We need to stand united because if we don't, we're going to look fucking crazy to the mainstream. And it's already started, but we got to stand united in this all this, all this fucking bullshit. Thanks. So, to all the haters out there, right? L3 Podcast, Hassan, Anus and Peach, whatever the fuck y'all niggas want to say. <laughs> fuck all you guys. Real talk. Um, I hate mentioning other co content creators, but this is a W for us, and I gotta take a victory lap to everyone that talked shit about Andrew, said he was guilty, all this other shit. He's gonna beat the charges because I'm telling y'all, three things always show up the sun, the moon, the moon and the, the fucking truth. truth. Yeah. And it's coming, motherfuckers. When I was in jail, I focused on doing push-ups and reading the Quran. And when I am home, I will focus on doing push-ups and reading the Quran. MashaAllah! Long live the PUBG! is not a real thing. You are never going to be permanently motivated to do things that you don't want to do. People who train every day don't want to train every day. They are not motivated to train every day. They are something else. It's called discipline. It's called being a man. It's not about feeling like doing it. If you only do things you feel like doing, you know what you end up doing? What? You end up sitting around with a belly, drinking soya fucking latte bullshit. That's what you end up doing if you only do what you feel like doing. You have to wake up and say, I don't feel like training, but I must train. You need to do what you're supposed to do, not what you feel like fucking doing. Okay. That's the difference between a man and a fucking child. The men on the Titanic didn't feel like dying that day. There are duties that men must fulfill whether to God or to your bloodline. You must accept it first. Most of these people, what they do is they hang around with other disgusting people, and then they're a little group of disgusting people, and they think, well, I'm not disgusting, everyone's disgusting, and this is normal, and it's normal to be a fucking jerk off. And they should look in the mirror, look deep in their own eyes and say, yes. And, and there's men here who'll deny it. There's men who will go, no, 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 no. But those are the ones who are most lost. It's the things, it's the denial that's gonna hold you back the most. The people who go, yes, I'm wasting my potential. Those are the ones who have potential. The men who go, well, no, actually, I'm fine. They're fucked. They're inside the matrix, fully slave-minded. They're a waste of time. But if you sit there and go, you know what? Yeah, I am wasting my future. Yes, I can be more than I am. All the trauma and bullshit I've been through in my life are the best things that ever happened. As a man, if you've not had a difficult life, you cannot be good at being a man. 
Being a good man and being good at being a man, they're two slightly different things. But to be good at being a man, you need to be have been through so much shit that when the Matrix deletes your entire life from the internet and starts lying about you at mass, and people start doing protests and wanting you fucking hung, and they're looking for your family members, and reporters start calling every ex-girlfriend you've ever had, trying to convince them and bribe them to lie, to come out and say you're something you're not, when they're genuinely out to put you in jail, if none of this shit happened to you, when something else bad happens to you later, you wouldn't be able to deal with it. Bad things happen to Batman. They killed his parents. Do you understand? That's why he's Batman. The world is hyper competitive. If you're going to be a man who's going to sit and say, I'm just sad, you are always going to lose in competition to men like me. Yeah. And there has to be losers for there to be winners. I am tired of sympathy. Sympathy doesn't work for anybody. I'm not going to sit here and be sympathetic for people who say they're too sad to try hard and be their best. Guess what? Perhaps I was sad every time I did exactly what I was supposed to do and trained anyway. Perhaps I was afraid when I fought anyway. Perhaps I was tired when I worked anyway. This is how you get ahead in life. I don't have a fucking ounce of sympathy for these people who sit here and say, well, I feel this way, so I can't. Then don't do it. Stay down there. The winners are at the top, and the winners at the top don't give a shit about how they feel. We wake up and we perform regardless of how we feel day after day. So if I'm going to ignore my own feelings, I'm certainly not going to take into consideration anybody else's. Yeah. Why am I going to ignore how I feel and make sure I'm constantly performing regardless flawlessly and then sit and go oh but he doesn't feel good so he's allowed to fuck up no you are not you're not allowed to fuck up to your ancestors or to god or to yourself you have to perform this is how it this is what being a man is about the baseline of masculinity is doing things you don't feel like doing i can't comment on being a woman because i'm not one but the baseline of masculinity as a whole is the thing that makes a good man a man is that he does what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to work and he works anyway. He doesn't want to go to war and he fights anyway. He doesn't want to get up, he gets up anyway. That's the whole point of it. We didn't want to die in the Titanic. Guess what happened? We died in the Titanic. You can't sit there as a man and say you don't feel like it. You're not allowed to not feel like it. You're supposed to do it anyway, regardless. What on earth, even in a million years of your wildest dreams, made you think you were going to stop Andrew Tate? We don't stop. <laughs>